<laughs> you aren't here for the roast of me. Did we roast you? They, they even got Kevin in on it. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Hey, folks, what's going on today? It is me and Andy back here with you. Apparently, uh, there was a whole gaggle of them that decided to roast him yesterday. So we were. No, it wasn't. Oh yesterday. no, it was, well, last Friday. Oh. Yeah. oh, so we got on live. It was on live. Yeah. <gasps> Where was I? On vacation. Yeah. Oh, oh, because you weren't here last Friday. No, I was here last Friday. That's it was why I was Friday before. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. It was a few Fridays ago. <laughs> it's been a few weeks ago. Did everybody get to see the Andy roasting? Did everybody enjoy that? Anybody out there in the world? Oh, I started. I missed it. I missed yeah, it. Well, you can rewatch it. I should. I need to. I need to. All righty, guys. Well, if you weren't here on Wednesday, oh, wait, today's Wednesday. Today's unfortunately. Wednesday. Last one. It could have been Friday, but it's not. Or it was last Friday. I kind of got bummed out a little hard just now. It Anyways. Ends, it ends in a while. It does. Yeah. So today is Wednesday. Uh, last Friday, um, Andy and I started this amazing circle bag or mini rope purse or I don't know, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, it's a 10-inch circle, and we're putting two of them together with a gusset. It's very exciting stuff. Super awesome. Um, but anyways, so... We got the back panel assembled last Friday. I already had this one done because this was my sample before we did the beautiful pillow that we did a few weeks ago just to make sure that the design concept worked. Um, and then we got our gusset all finished up. So we've got a two and a half inch, right? That was the, I'm pretty sure that was the measurement, but that, we'll just double check it. That sounds right. Sure is. It's two and a half inches. Rose, come here. We got Rosie in the house today. Rose, come say hi. Come here. Rose, come on. Okay. Rose, come on. There we go. Everybody say hi, Rose. We can't have Luna and Rose because Luna is a turd and she likes to bite Rose's nose. Yep. So it's okay. All righty, Rose. And then down you go. Here we go. Hi. Anyways, I know, Will, there's a zipper and a gusset. It's a very exciting day here in the SLC studio. Two of the best things. Two of the best things. So we got this all made up. And so today we are going to do the very tedious task of attaching the back and the front panel to the gusset, which will be a lot of fun. Um, Andy went through this week, earlier this week, and he got our center marks marked here on our gusset. So we came up, you know, made sure we found our halfway mark because we do want to make sure that the zipper and our tabs that we put on are all centered. That's all very important. So we made marks here on the inside of the gusset and then the front and the back of the bag on the insides. Also, our center lines are marked. So we will start gluing there. Do you want to put the back or the front on first? Mm, I guess the back because then we'll figure out what doesn't work. Exactly, and then it won't be on the front. Perfect. Um, we did a little bit of testing, and by we, I mean Andy, because um, he's yeah. great. Um, on what would glue this up best, because you really want, since we're going to be sewing our seam on the outside. Yes, Rosie. We're going to be sewing our seam on the outside, and we're going to paint the edges. We want to make sure that we've got a really good glue there so that it doesn't peel apart. Her tail just whacked a pole, and it scared her. She ran away. Anyways, she has a very happy tail. It goes all over the place yep. and it hits things all the time. Alrighty, so you know, if lights fall over, or cameras fall over, it's probably Rose's fault. I'm gonna go grab the other one of those. Okay. So we found out that Masters, um, he tried to rough up. If anybody out there is using this leather, so this is our double sided um high end handbag style leather that's on the website for super duper cheap. Um, I don't know if they're going to put the links to the leather in this description, but it's definitely in the description for the last video. So this leather right here has, it's a finished split. Um, so, you know, this side has a nice pebble grain to it, just like an upholstery leather. You can kind of see that. But this side is a very slick kind of PU finish. Um, it's almost rubbery. And so he tried to rough it up and that did not go well. Like nothing happened really. Like he attempted to rub off rough up the edge um, and you can barely feel it. So, but the masters seem to adhere to it pretty well. So that's what we're gonna use. So I am going to do the easy part and I'm gonna make him do the hard part, which is the gusset. And this, this doesn't really have a front or a back. So we won't worry about that. No, you gotta glue one side at a time. Well, I can glue this and let it dry. 
Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I've never used one of the tiny little cute bottles before. Make sure you get that glue all the way up to the edge. It's going to be a good day in here, guys. We're gluing. We're going to have all the fun. <laughs> Got our binder clips ready. Hopefully this is going to go really well. I don't think Rose is a video kind of dog. I think she's she's a little too hyperactive. <laughs> She's, she's like, there's no children in here for me to play with. Well, there's just also nobody paying attention to her. <laughs> she is an attention hog. A dog hog. She's a dog hog. She loves some good butt scratches, as all dogs do. Actually, she really likes the ear scratches. Sometimes she does it herself on the floor, which is pretty funny. Um, if we've never gotten a video of Rose ear scratching, we should one day because it's pretty hilarious. She like goes into like a semi Tourette state and like rubs her head across the concrete floor. <laughs> I know, Chad, you're missing out. Everybody get their glue out. We'll all have a glue party. And by the end of the hour, we're all going to be, it's going to be real silly. <laughs> Not yet, Randy. Danny will be back next week. Is there a piece on this? Everybody seems to love the elevator music. Yeah, the, no. it, it is great. No. <laughs> I did last week on Friday when Chad was doing the live. He was in here tooling some stuff, and he was playing a little elevator music on uh, on his computer for his Twitch after party. And that was, uh, you know, that was nice. It was good. It was good. Not because of attack, but because of love. <laughs> Heath is a little fear, isn't he? Uh -huh. Yeah. Heath, I get that. I, uh... Yeah, my dogs don't... I don't know. When people when people come to my house, I just... I go outside and I warn them. I say, listen, this is how it's going to go down. Luna is going to bark at you and try to attack you. Miko is wanting... He's going to want to kiss your face. So he's like my 75-pound husky, and he's... He's super sweet and a really nice dog, but he's he's going to kiss your face. So that's what's going to happen. And then after he's done with that, he will then start attacking Luna because she is being mean to you and he doesn't approve. And so he's going to chase her around you in circles, attacking her to keep her away from you. And then Blue, our Chewini, is just going to stand back behind everybody and perpetually bark because that's what he does. And then Molly's going to sit on her cushion on the floor and not get two craps about anybody. <laughs> and that is a shenanigans when people come to my house. <laughs> it's a good time. But once you get past like that first 10 minutes, everything is fine. Everybody calms down. We just have to, we just have to get that first 10 minutes out. I'm a member of Barge Aholics Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one I think I'm going to do the old Denny twist here on my strap today just because the leather is two-toned and pretty fun like, it'll be a oh I actually like that better we could do oh we'll just have to see about this now I don't know our tabs are the white but that could be this could be a fun strap how do we like it guys do we like the blue on white or do we like the white on blue. Which which way do we like it? I kind of really like that blue on white. Did I miss the demo on that twist? Um, consummate. Yeah, so the, the twist we did with the pillow. So if you'll look back a few weeks ago, um, we did a video. It's the two saint twist pillow. 
um, and that will go over the array and it's it's really very very simple um, but we kind of give you a couple different options on how to do it and then also um, the patterns so there's two downloadable patterns that you could get for free and there's like a big one the size for the pillow I'm going to show it again because I feel like I'm just going to show it in every video from now until the end of time because it's my favorite thing. So we've got this huge option if you wanted to do something on this kind of scale or we have the smaller option for the bag. Look at those pillow guys. It's still the best pillow ever. Uh oh. I did. I did math. Did my math not work? I don't know. I'll make it work. How about you? I did math. More than I ever do. We're gonna have to finagle our seam, guys. Blue on white, blue on white. Yeah, I also think blue on white. I mean, that does look really good. I don't not like that, but I definitely really like that. Uh oh. It looked good when we laid it inside of it. It, it stretched over the weekend. You probably did it. You probably remade it. Yep. Like it's not good enough. Then I messed it up. Rosie, come here. No, up here. There we go. Or we could do this move. Come here. There we go. This is how we do this. Does everybody have awesome plans for this weekend? Did anybody actually, did anybody get rain like we did? It has rained twice this week so far, which is super exciting. And it hasn't been 100 degrees every single day, which has also been very nice and exciting. Yeah, it did, Dean. It did, Dean. I was afraid it's going to be too small. Look at this, actually. I think it's going to be fine. Maybe this is why you put a bottom and a top, and then you start on those, and then you make them. See, I told Andy this morning, I was like, we should do it on both sides. And he's like, no, 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 we just need one, and it's fine. <laughs> as long as the top is centered, the bottom you can make work. Most of the time. But I was like, if you have one on both sides, then when you put them together. Does Rose ever sew on the sewing machine? No, she's pretty good at staying away from the sewing machine foot. But my mom's dog, on the other hand... Daisy, it's wherever she's at. All right. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and find the center of this guy and mark the bottom. Can you do the gusset and stitch the bottom seam? Yes, the sides are correct. Do the gussets and stitch the bottom seam. What's this? Mm. Chainsaw enthusiast. Hi. Um, no, not question? for this. If you could, um, if you could, like, almost make the gusset and then like finish the gusset. It would be a little difficult. 
the only way that I would do that is before you sew anything, you could clip it like this temporarily and then mark your pieces and then take it back apart. Uh, it's a lot extra work. Yeah. The math should have been fine. These pieces are, if you just had a single ply leather, you would have like way more leniency with the pieces because they would stretch more. But since we've got a bunch of glued up front and back panels, they just, plus this leather really isn't all that stretchy. But I think it's going to work out just fine. I think it was pulling it too tight. I'll just blame it on you, Andy, because you're doing it. So I'm just going to let that one go. Abigail redeem a Wackatoni? No, I did. Oh, you did? Just to make sure that it was working. Gotcha. This is my first time in a week to be back on this. Yeah, and everybody, Tony's back. Everybody want to say hi? No. Did, did we miss his face? <laughs> oh, bummer. Everybody gave no. Tony a really hard time yesterday with that video that Abigail posted on, on the Instagram. That was pretty great. Everybody, there was so many comments. I don't think I've seen that many comments from people. <laughs> I think we made literally everyone in the leather world cringe. Was, everyone was like, no! It was a nice Osborne. Don't do CS it! Yes, Osborne. It was an older one, wasn't it? Punch, oblong punch. It's not just an yeah. oblong, but it was, it's tapered. Oh, that's right. It was a tapered punch. Yep. <clears throat> oh, my. With no, no poly. No poly, straight, yeah. Straight to granite. And I was attacking it with a metal hammer. Metal on metal. Yeah, that's going to be great. Maybe. It's going to be perfect. All the clips, guys. All the clips. Does that glue work on the vinyl the same as leather? Um, Actually, yeah, it would be fine on... Um, if you're doing, like, the inside of vinyl, this would work fine. If you're doing the outside, it may not work very great. You might test it out. Um, the aquilum would probably work pretty good on the front side of vinyl. You want to switch cameras? We're ready. We're going to sew this back panel up. I haven't started doing anything yet, so. He's just waiting just on you. I'm waiting on you, Andy. Well, I'm not sure if that. She fixed it. That's, That's not noise. Okay. It's out of focus, but I'll, have, I'll fix it once I get on there. I don't know how I missed that video. Josh, what video did you miss? Oh, it was a. Uh, it was a reel. Oh. It was on Instagram. It was a strength of leathers reel. Oh, was it? Did it, she put it on Facebook too? I don't know. I saw it on Instagram. Yeah. That's where all the notifications were coming from. So my daughter was, my little one was here yesterday and she was like. Oh, that's so zoomed in. <laughs> zoom out. I can't zoom out. <laughs> I can't zoom out. We want to get right up in Andy's needle. Oh, well, we can't see anything. <laughs> well, yeah, I might be. Hi, Carrie. No Josh will check it out. Gonna... Yeah, this one you may just not be able to see, guys, because we got to hold the bag up to get the stitch to go correctly. We hit one mm -hmm. on there, and then you'll have to hit the cut button. And then the cut. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. Alright, hang on. <laughs> You're gonna switch it back to three just so. Okay. So hopefully I don't make everybody get You shouldn't be able to see the preview over on my the other. Oh. My goodness. Hold on, let me switch to Autofocus. Oh, now somebody's calling me. Yeah, but you don't know them. They are local, though. Ooh. Okay, cut back to three, then. Do I need three in the cut? Yep. Okay. Nice. Oh, Tony is literally holding the camera. <laughs> that might yep. be a while. Only halfway here. <laughs> I wondered why it was moving a little bit. I'm like, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, you can hit the picture on picture on it. I'm probably in the camera one shot. No, I don't see you. 
I see him, he's right here. <laughs> We did! We did that duffel bag out of hair on a while ago. Um, Clayton made a duffel bag using hair on panels, which was kind of fun. Did, did they do one of the simple totes with hair on, too? Denny did a pioneer bag that's back there. Oh, yeah. That's underneath the... Yeah, we did a hair on inlay in a bag using uh, the goat skins a little while ago. But we have been selling a lot of these really fun little calf skins on the live sales on Thursday. And um, I do kind of want to take one of those and, and use it for something. All right, we go back to one in a second. I think, I think I can... Tony's losing feeling in his arm. I mean, the camera's not heavy. Oh, we can see your elbow. It's not heavy until you, like... Hold it for an extended period of time. He's, he's holding it like this over the table. <laughs> so anytime you hold anything like this, it gets heavy. Yeah. I work out! I work out! I have not worked out in a really long time, and I need to. <laughs> we will try to find some fun hair on projects to do. Anybody want to send in their hey dudes and we'll glue some hair onto that? I have hey, hey dudes that Amanda wants done. She's just picky about what leather goes on. Well, then have her pick out some stinking leather and let's do it. Uh, yes, Liz. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> just get it done, Tony. Maybe she'll come in on Monday when she's off because she works this Friday. Saving lives as a nurse. Yep. Just kids' lives. Aw. Sometimes the parents need help, too. Yeah, that can be a thing. Like, just in the room with the kids, or... What what kind of nursing does she do? Pediatric. She gets all the cute little babies. All the way till 18. Oh. So she gets the terrible teens, too. Mm -hmm. I need to know how to glue hair side for holsters and handbags idea to glue hair side. Um, so Heath, uh, one thing that Clayton always kind of recommended when it came to working with hair on is um, bind the edge because then you kind of are capping all that hair in and it's not looking weird. Um, and to do that, he would take a layer of contact cement and glue the hair down, and then he would bind the edge over it so that you didn't have all that movement. Because a lot of times you'll go to bind it, and it'll want to shift around on you because the hair is loose. But if you just if you put a nice layer of glue over it, um, that'll help everything to kind of uh, cement down, let that dry, and then put fresh glue on top of it. Um, and that should hold the binding on. Is that bag inside out? No, this is the outside. So we are sewing this. Um, seam side out, and then we will be edge finishing and painting the edge with our Fenici edge system. So that one's on, so now I just gotta put some glue in here. I'm gonna do something, because okay. I haven't done anything. <laughs> so it is not, this is, this is the outside. That's the seam. So once we're done, we'll take this to the sander. We will sand all these edges flush. We've got a nice, um, seam allowance there to do so. Look at that. I love it. I love this... Air Willow. Uh, no, I don't know why you're looking at me. <laughs> some, it's some, something Willow that I know for sure. The the mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was Willow. Because I remember being like, oh, if you type that in, we don't have anything else called Willow, and so it'll come up for you. It's a pretty good movie, too. Oh, you're talking about the... The remaking the Willow, yeah. did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, the remaking it. It was probably before your time anyway. Yeah, it's kind of like the BR-549 situation. Well, I mean, yeah, Hee Haw was a movie. Was, <laughs> you know, still enter entertainment. Willow's Disney, you should know about it. 
What is what's the storyline there? Uh, I feel, it sounds familiar. He has a princess that was sent off. This is why I've seen it because it has princesses in it. Of course, <laughs> <laughs> and horses. What is it? A new one? They're remaking it. So, is it an old one? Eighties. Okay. Do you have any more information? Is that your story? Is that your synopsis? Because that's like every Disney movie. Val Kilmer's in it. At, is it about like this this at, little as girl? A voice that, or like live action? It's live action. Isn't it? You guys are so. Is it like a voice? Is it like animation or live action? No, it's like a real movie, not an animated movie. Like it, there was oh, movies and then there was an animated. Is movie. it about like this cute little girl no, that's no. struggling with something? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a plot line to no other movie besides <laughs> Willow. We, we've probably oh. seen it, but we were probably like five years old. Oh. I just, I feel like it was something that Chris is like, this is the cutest movie ever, and we need to watch it. <clears throat> I don't think that you. But maybe were not. Born yet. It, well, maybe. It was, it was 88. We were both born in 90. Yeah. Because so. apparently Andy and I are the same age somehow. Yeah. <sighs> Somehow, we're the same so age. So, Warren Davis was in it, Val Kilmer, Joanne Wally. Willow is a fantasy movie. Mm-hmm. Hold on, I'm trying to find you. The... Aren't okay. all Disney movies fantasy? <laughs> I mean, no, they do some. They do some real stories. They do some. You know. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah, okay, yeah. Did it make it, I don't know. I mean, it yeah, looks, I haven't seen that. I mean, it looks familiar, but... Look at that one. Look at him. <laughs> what a young stud. I know. As oh my god, definitely have not seen that! <laughs> right out of Top Gun. <laughs> I would have remembered that braid. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, Andy, did you make a little bag of holding the clips? No, it just, it was here when I started. I think Lorissa made it. It's a perfect size to hang on our pegboard. Mm. On a Ooh. hook. Who said Andrew? Andrea, this is Anderson, not Andrew. Not Andrew. <laughs> Can you show the back side of that stitch you just did on that? The back side. So this is... So on a sewing machine, you can really tell which is... Yeah, so this is, is the front. Is the this is the front of the stitch. This it, is the back of the stitch. It'll be hard to tell on the that kids. leather because it's so soft and it's a fresh needle. So there's not very much tear out. Yeah. So it really looks pretty good. Usually you, you can tell because the sewing machine... This actually looks really good. Alrighty. We have something that shows more of like what the backside does. So, granted, this is like a, a, a pasted split. That's that's your finish finish side. And then if we can. It's got a little bit of tear out, little fuzzies. It's hard hard to show on this leather. No, I didn't glue the wrong sides. That pop, that pocket goes on the inside, right? Yeah, that's the yeah. front. This is the front of the bag. So this pocket goes on the outside because it's the back. This is the front. So that's the inside. So we're good. We're good, William. No, no problems here. We didn't mess up. A little freaked out, but we made it. Okay. Well, so we don't have to line. We don't have to pick, make a mark. So I have a bottom and a top mark now. Oh, do you want me to? Here, let me try to do this. We'll see sure. what happens. Yep. Oh, boy. I would just start at the top, though, because that's the... Yeah. Is that the important part? Yep. Sorry. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> Change the tone a little bit. It's like a villager on <laughs> Minecraft. 
I I have actually I tried to play that video game once. Minecraft. Mm-hmm. Minecraft. Actually, like Chris, he keeps trying to get me to play it because he's like, I think it'd be really cool because you can kind of just do like if you have it in creator mode, you can do whatever you want. And there's people that have like made Frank Lloyd Wright houses in Minecraft and like done all this really cool stuff. And it's it's similar to Legos. There's blocks. Yeah, but I just can't stare at a screen. Like, I do enough emails here that I don't, I just, I tried it once, and, like, the walking around part, like, that perspective situation, I don't know. Well, you can make it into third person. I didn't enjoy it. Plus, I could just build my Legos. Because I don't have enough time already to do that, so... You have a physical block. Game. Yeah, I have physical blocks. Just a few hundred thousand of them. Just a few hundred thousand. We are really close to 700 sets. Just in case anybody was counting, I am on my Excel spreadsheet. Oh, wow. Let's go. <laughs> I still have all of mine from the kid and the boxes. So. What can I help you with, bro? Just, you know, whenever you're ready to get rid of them, Andy, you just the, let me know. The lar <laughs> largest one I have, it's a... Uh, the space shuttle, and then like a dock, and then there's the the launch pad and all that. Nice. I don't remember how many pieces it was. Yeah, I've got the uh, Apollo rocket, and I've seen some really cool displays where they get like this glass IKEA cabinet, and they put um, like cotton that's been pulled apart and a light underneath it, so it looks like the rocket is taking off. And then you kind of mount the rock, like the rocket, in the middle of the glass display. And when you turn the light on, the cotton gets all red, and it looks like There's smoke. Some, it's pretty fun. That's my pork chop. Amazing three D modeling people. So Amanda and I, well, Amanda, Amanda's parents, and all of us went to the to the fair, and we went into the where they have all the display of all the little crafts that people did, and mm -hmm. there was a whole Lego area of kids that had built Legos to get judged. Nice. She's like, well, where's the adult side? Did Liz and Chris enter? <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I don't think so, but we can check. But then Isabella got interested and she's like, oh, well, I could do some of this stuff too. She's like, I didn't even realize that I could still <laughs> enter. And But saw Jesse Perkins stuff there. I don't know, she had like five blue ribbons and some other ones. I wonder if more people entered this year because we talked about it last year because Denny judged it. Yeah. I didn't even know the fair still did things like that. I haven't been to the fair in years. Well, you'll have to wait again until next year. Yeah. At least to go in Springfield. Jeez, Nick. Gonna make an entrance. All right. <laughs> All right. That actually that wasn't so bad. Started to almost come all the way off. Yeah, especially in the front, but like in the mm -hmm, in the back, it's still there. Oh yeah, I like this belt. Yeah, it's a good one. Somebody said something on Friday, I think, about a mystery. I'm like my like, where's your mystery braided belt? Most of my belts are mystery braided because is there any other way to make a belt? That's my response to that. Alrighty, folks, look at this. Got the back panel, and he's going to meticulously sew this panel, and it's going to be great. All right, have a good, have a good time. I'm and then I'm going to work on the strap while he sews that. What's the back side of that stitch? Oh, do double stitch. That That's why we did that earlier. 
Zach, what do you mean by double stitch, though? I am curious about that. <clears throat> I'm not sure that he means, like, double stitch, or maybe both sides of being thin. Can we watch her make this one? What else would you do? I was totally going to move this over here, and you could put my... Making a strap. Keith doesn't want to have to watch that again. Jeez. Excuse me, Rose. <laughs> Do you care if I change cameras? Hey, Rosie. Whoa! Whoa! Rosie just made an earthquake on the camera. Do the switch. Be anything fancy. I think I am going to do this little little twisty guy, so we'll be working on the back side because this is now my front side. Mm. Honestly, I'm going to start on this end though. We haven't quite decided if we're going to make an adjustable strap yet or if we're just going to make um, a single length strap, but I think we're going to do an adjustable one. We didn't bring a buckle in here. I always just like a good English tip. Everybody, that's always, that's always a good option. We need to paint this. I forgot the roller. He forgot the roller, but I have a couple of rollers that I will attempt to use. Um, so, consummate, we, the overall piece of leather, I believe, was a four to five. So, this is the full thickness, and it is. It's four and a half ounces um, for the body, but I did, on some of these panels, I, I split the pieces in half, um, and then for some of it, I just used, so I probably ended up with maybe a four or five, or maybe like a five and a half ounce overall on some of the parts, depending on which section it was like the front um has that spiral and that is a full thickness piece on the front um i have the piece of um embossed leather in between and then i did a split and i used the blue back side that i had split off that was probably about two ounces and i lined that whole panel did i do it out of the white i'm sorry i did that backwards i split the back off and then i lined it with the the white so that panel is probably four to five full so it might even be six to seven for the front and back, for the just the front piece. The back is going to be thinner because um, it's just single ply four or five. And then the gusset was um, the two to three ounce embossed leather that I lined with the split off the blue. So it was probably... It was about six and a half. Six and a half. For the front. Okay. And what did my gusset end up being? About four. About four. So two by four. So somewhere in there, and you should be pretty good. We are using the gray edge paint. I'm actually going to attempt to use the spatula to do this, see if that works. Rob is watching from an airport. I spent too much time in airports on my trip because we just kept getting delayed everywhere. Rob is the one that <clears throat> sat in here that one time that was traveling oh. and he missed his flight the next day. Because the weather oh, yeah, was bad? Flight, yeah. It was the canceled. Was canceled. Yeah. What's up, Rob? Rob. <laughs> Thank you. 
How'd it go, Andy? It went all right. Honestly, though, the person that was asking if we sewed this inside out, that wouldn't be, you could, especially if you did it out of thinner leathers, like if you didn't have uh, so many layers here, like if you didn't line them, um, you could definitely do it inside out and then turn it, because I think your opening would be big enough for you to turn it. It'd be a little bit of a hassle, but it would work. Or you could do like what Denny does and do a rolled edge on one edge, um, flip it over, and then do an exterior seam on the other edge. Or you can do that fancy... French rolled edge, if you wanted to. It's another way of binding the edge, but not binding it. Mm-hmm. Where you sew, you sew it down like this, and then fold it over. So you do and that then, on the front. And then you sew underneath that, yep. and it catches it on the back. But you couldn't do that on both sides, mm -hmm. just on the front side. Nothing Walk like paper. Just <laughs> <laughs> yep, sure did. What are you doing? I just the, I I edge coated. Oh okay. And and so now we're just we're drying, but we could do a couple of these little twisties while we dry. So this is a three quarter inch strap. I have three quarter inch swivel snaps. That was real nice. Hi there, Wayne. How South Carolina? So on Twitch, I put up a poll mm -hmm. that says, what <clears throat> intro music should we use? So I put elevator music up there, and two people have voted, and two people have voted for elevator music. Nice. Yeah. So well, only like if there was a version instead of the final countdown, it was something else. Is that On the intro, anymore? as it's counting down. We'll have to, uh, <clears throat> Alex needs to write a new final countdown. It's the SLC countdown. It's the streaming countdown. And there it is. Mm -hmm. And then we will again get banned because it's too close to the original MGM. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when we do this little twisty guy like we're doing right here, I am cutting a three quarter inch slot because that. It's the width of my strap, uh, so that just allows it to turn nicely. And then I'm going to go the just the three-quarter inch slot apart. So I'll, my slot is three-quarters of an inch, and I'm going to leave three-quarters of an inch, but I'm just going to measure it out with the, the slot punch. So I'm going to not go there, and I'm going to start right here. And then I put a center line down the middle of my strap so I can kind of align my slot punch with that center line. And we're just going to do a handful of these. Just to add a little bit of character on the strap. Because we just did it. Headed for Cincinnati. That sounds like tough, right? I think I'd rather be going the other way. Mm -hmm. right. We'll do five of them. Exactly a handful. Does that make the strap stronger? I don't think so. I don't think that it really does anything for the strength of the strap, but it just looks cool. <laughs> you can put your hardware on before you start twisting up? Nope. Okay. Sorry for trying to say Jeez, Tony. You know, that would actually, that would make it a little bit. So you just put. Oh, I see. You put the slot through the hole. I'm sorry. You put the end through the slot. I said that completely backwards. And you just pull it through. Yeah, I don't think you can put the slot through the hole. Yeah, uh, that's not a thing. That's so fun. that would be really difficult. And you just keep 
Don't break it. Oh, and Andy's over there making cute little tabs that he's probably going to bleed not because you can't do them any other way. That's, that's the thought anyway. <laughs> no, I can't see. I can't see him. You can't see me. That's where I got me. I thought you were going to turn the inside up. <clears throat> are you done stitching? Me? On the sewing machine? Yeah, I think so. We are totally done, though. This is like... This leather has a, a bit of a kink to it. Like, it doesn't want to lay flat. But once it's holding the weight of the purse, it'll be fine. There we go. So we're just going to do those five. And then on our little adjustment end, which will be here, um, or on the end with the buckle, actually, I'll do a couple here before the buckle. And then once we get it connected to the purse, I will decide how long I want the strap to be. And then we'll cut it to length and then put the, put the adjustment holes in on this side. How far apart did you put the holes? I put them length. the length of the punch apart. So they are three quarters of an inch apart. My strap is three quarters. So if you had a one inch strap and you were using a one inch punch, then you could do the same thing and have a one inch gap between um, the slots. And then you just vertically place them. Yeah, I like the idea of the blue being on the top. Could you start it at the last hole and then work your way back to the tip instead of going from the tip to the other side? No. Um, oh, yeah, probably. I don't know if it matters. Yeah. Whichever you guys can do it both ways. You can do it both ways. I heard both ways. Both ways. Yeah, Rob, I love bleed knots. It's my favorite one. Great shot of Andy's face. You can come over here to my work platform. We'll switch. Don't move the platform, man. Yeah. Anderson. <laughs> I was just moving it out of the way because it's hard to see white on white. Oh, oh you're just going to work on the table. Oh, I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, great thinking. Good job. <gasps> oh, this is actually really perfect because now, all right, guys, so our tab, no, you're good. Our tab down here is white. And if we use the blue side as the strap, that means when it comes down and connects, you'll have the two white sides of the tab showing together. So that's actually really perfect. Yay. I love it when things just kind of come together just right. Doesn't everybody? Give me the uh, dividers. Okay. Rose. Rose. Andy is going to sew this on. Could you could you could you sing and, and stream and not bark? <laughs> Maybe. Does she sing? Sometimes. Some people witnessed it on the camera a while back. Mm -hmm. She was at the house, wasn't she? If you want to call it singing, it sounds like she's dying. <laughs> See here. Are you done with your little? Yep. Okay. This is gonna be right. So that will be one side of the strap. And then once again, we will have, we will edge paint this piece. We will put the other clip on that end. This side will get a um, buckle put on it. So we will put a cinnabar buckle somewhere 
along this depending on how long we want this strap to be and then this piece we will cut the adjustment tip once we figure out what the appropriate length should be um, after we get this adjustment done or this the, the buckle side done so that will happen not here because we didn't bring the buckle but if you want to sew that down that would be super cool right there and then you got some cute little bleed knots done that's hard to see Oh, sorry, I said that we were done with the machine, but it's going to be close. All righty, guys. This is, once again, we are going to go to the sander. We will sand all of our edges so that everything is flush and nice and ready, and then we are going to start edge painting this. So I'll have it probably finished up on Friday to show you. Um, this Friday, Denny will not be back. We thought he might, but he's not going to be back this Friday. So um, we just finished up with some awesome, like, pancake knife sheath. Yep parts um, that we will be offering up for sale and so we will be back in here showing you guys how to put those together and how you can use those pieces to make some pancake holster pancake sheath pancake knife holders <laughs> what are we calling them <laughs> all i know is it's making me hungry <laughs> let's talk about pancakes all righty so here's the bag you want to go to the top so you've got this Super bright with the fun little twisties. And then there's inside, we've got a front internal pocket there. It is completely lined with the blue. So you've got the gusset is blue. That is blue. Very nice, very nice. And then you've got this wonderful back pocket here. So this, your cell phone totally fits right in there. There's the bag. And then once we get those edges painted, it'll look a lot better. Got your pull tab. You got two zippers, so they come up and meet in the middle or, you know, whichever side somebody decides to keep them on. But I like things centered. It makes me happy. It's taking you forever to sew that little loop. Is it the physical pattern done for the keepsake? Um, yeah, isn't it? The keepsake box, isn't that done, Chad? anymore. Well, the digital was on there, was, but we took our digital patterns down for the moment because people were confused on how to print them out. Gotcha. It was the physical version not done? I don't know that we ever got well, to we, it. Yeah, we ever did. Too many vacations happened. Sorry, Dean, we failed at that, but we will be working on the physical one. You know what, though? Because we're awesome people, we might just send you one because we could probably print it out. Yeah, yours will have special instructions to enter a, zip, a zipper. In it. That's right. <laughs> All righty, so we've got one side here. Clips right on. Boom. So that will be, that's going to be the strap. Like I said, we just have to figure out how far down we want the buckle. We'll get this in finished up. And that's the bag, guys. That's... That's it. All righty, look at that, right at an hour. Well, before everybody leaves, on patterns, if you have any of them from anybody, if you have Adobe Reader free and you go to print, click poster, and then... <clears throat> That's cute, Andy. I made a whole <clears throat> video that, that people get when they get the digital download. Oh, okay. Do it. okay. Yeah, <laughs> Never we've mind. tried. <laughs> well, uh... We're, we're still... We're doing... We're going to get you guys... We're doing handwritten instructions as well. And you okay. can use Adobe Reader or you can use Foxit Reader, okay. which is another PDF reader. Yeah. But... Okay. <laughs> I appreciate you. Yes. We're trying. Alrighty, folks. We will um, be continuing on the Twitch after party. We have got a ton of leather to show you guys actually for the live sale tomorrow. It's going to be an amazing... Um, it's going to be a colorful week. It's going to be a colorful, colorful week. We've got all the Moran Giles upholstery hides. What did I call it yesterday? I don't know. Was I in here? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was, like, I don't know. I had a cute little quippy thing that I said, and Tony was like, yeah, that'll be really fun. That can be what we call it, and now I've forgotten. In any case, um, so keep with us or jump on over to Twitch, and you can get a preview of tomorrow's live shopping 
um, here in just a minute. And then we will see you guys on Friday for some some sort of pancake, something or other. It's going to be great. Can we get a thin piece of leather on the table? What? What's that? This piece? That was the, spl- the split of the other side, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so this was the other side of the gusset that we split off. And I brought in just in, just in case we decided to use it's it. It's the same leather. It was mm-hmm. just split in half, basically. Yeah. Just split in half. So we've got great people. All righty, folks. Have a great afternoon. Bye.